Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. In this video, I will be sharing 5 things you can do in your first year that will help you boost your resume. So for all of that and more, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, immediately click on the subscribe button so that you will never miss out any informative video like this. I have been uploading videos regarding internships, regarding coding and all. In the coming future, I am planning of uploading many informative videos regarding placements, preparation, freelancing and many more. So to never miss out on that, I click on the all notifications button too so that you will be the one who will be notified as soon as I upload any kind of new video guys. With that note, let's start this video. First thing is pretty simple. First thing you should do is to collaborate with your classmates. Work with your classmates in group projects and assignments. Collaborating on projects can help you build relationships, develop teamwork skills and also improve your communication skill. Second thing which you can do is to participate in online learning platforms. Consider taking some online courses or participate in online communities to learn new skills and enhance your knowledge. I have already uploaded a video regarding how did I start to learn coding for free. So in that video I have listed many resources which are 100% uh, free and then they are already available on the internet. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I would like to suggest you to immediately watch that video so that you will be getting an idea regarding the resources which are available in the internet already for free. I hope all of you have watched that video. Yeah, moving on to the next one. Next thing is getting involved in extracurricular activities. Join clubs, organizations and teams that align with your interests. Participate in hackathons, coding contests and engineering projects to showcase your talent and to gain some valuable experience. So recently I had uploaded a video in which I had my brother who is a winner of a huge hackathon which is conducted by JP Morgan and Chase. So in that video he has addressed regarding how to participate in hackathons and how to win hackathons. So if you haven't checked it out then immediately check it out itself so that you will get a brief idea regarding what actually are hackathons and how to actually get into that group. So with that note move, let's move on to the next thing. Next thing is to find internships. Look for volunteer opportunities in your field such as working with an NGO or assisting a local company regarding their projects. You can also search internships that provide you hands-on experience and allow you to work on real life projects. My previous video is entirely based on this internships thing. So if you haven't checked it out, I would like to suggest you to check it out immediately. Cause in that video I have discussed what kind of internships you can take in your first year and how to find them too. I have listed out some four, three to four platforms I guess. At this juncture, I would like to suggest you one thing. Just go into simple internships like Campus Ambassador and Community Influencer and things like this which will help you get into that group. Then moving on in your first, second year and your third year, you can go with some uh, good internships with good companies and all. And then moving on to the last thing, last thing you can do is to pursue additional certifications. Consider obtaining certifications in software development, programming languages or project management. This shows your dedication towards your field and that is what hirers or companies will look forward when they are uh, going through your resume. You can use platforms like HackerRank, like LeadCode to just showcase your talent via certifications. There you can just access some tests and if you just uh, sail through the test, you will be getting a certificate that will have a unique ID and that will be legit too. So in your first year, since you will have a lot of time, I would like to suggest you to get as many certifications as you can. So once you learn a new skill set, just take a test and then just obtain the certification too. That will help a lot when you are submitting your resume to companies in your later later on in your third year or in your fourth year. This was it guys. Since there were many doubts which were coming for me in my previous videos regarding how to enhance our resume. So we are still in our first year engineering bro. What things can we do now so that that will help us boost our resume. So for to the address that thing I decided to make a dedicated video regarding it so that it will be a huge benefit for all of you who are watching this. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this video guys. If you did the same then immediately click on the like button so that that will give me a huge motivation to upload same kind of videos in the coming future. And then if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions then uh, feel free to put it on the comment section so that I'll be able to read them and think of what can be done regarding it in the coming future. Last but not the least I'd like to inform you regarding our telegram group wherein uh, there are students, there are engineering students from, from colleges which are located at distant corners of Karnataka. So there you can, uh, there will be an opportunity for you to share your ideas, to share your thoughts and then involve in some efficient discussions which are uh, frequently going on. If you haven't joined yet, I would like to suggest you to immediately join it. And then share this video to your friends too so that even they will be getting an idea regarding what things they can do in their first year that will help them boost their resume. So with that note, this is Darshan S. Gauda signing off guys. 
थैंक यू गाइज थैंक यू विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय